so without, uh, you know, for the view, uh, and what the mic is seen and show, it'll be two different views for a minute. Day two. The format you want to see for the day is in front of your speakers. It's not about the speakers, it's about you. If you have a question, raise your hand, ask us a question, and I'm going to talk to speakers. I want them to make it as effective as possible. Thank you. And for speakers, you stay out of the speakers, so if you want to stay in the center. So, you want to get a email. Just don't want to get in the spotlight here. Hi, I'm Steve Sargent, and I'm a, I produce the Internet Radio Show a podcast. I introduce to the outdoor groups that I do. I call them Internet Radio Show because most of them don't know what a podcast is. But uh, I've been in pro audio in various ways for 25 plus years. Right now, the likelihood of this for big corporations that want to have some audibility and that people are listening to their training stuff. Because right now, the first thought was, oh, it's going to be a podcast, but they have no idea if anybody's actually listening to it. All they know is that they've downloaded it. With this, they actually know if they've listened to it. Yeah, that. Do you see what I'm talking about? Can you tell if they listen to the whole thing on the tour of the We can tell them. Where we can tell the podcast, we can we know listen to the podcast and share them via cell phone. So we can look at the phone show. Um, what club? Second Life. Uh, no. You're in Second Life? Oh, Sky Club. And what's your thing? Team Podcasters? Team Podcasters Network? Well, this is for a different thing. Yeah, Voice Guys. We can't really say that. Eric, what's yeah. your, what's your view on your session? On, on your session that may or may not be? Oh, community imperialism. No, that's a huge, that's a huge issue. I got to write up a whole piece on that because that started a huge thread in the video blog group about the confusion of it. I think our I think our notion of community is flawed, and it's not intentional. It's not like we've said it, but people refer to the bloggers here or the video blogger or podcasters. Really, we are creating these micro silos. I think we're inadvertently shunning those that aren't in our inner circles. I think we have a lot more problems. I mean, we need to fix something. There is the real deal with Eric Rice. Talk to me about team podcasters. What's going on? Fifty or so team podcasters. As simple as that. Uh, networking together, we link and you know have a good time. Teampodcasters.net. Dot com. Dot com. Teampodcasters.com. Are you on Blueberry? No, I'm friends with Todd Cochran, but I'm not. Todd, this is for Blueberry Podcast. Todd, let's get this guy and all his pals on the Blueberry. For family friendly. Okay, so it's day two at PodCamp, and now they're mixing it up a little bit. We've got some roundtables happening, so I'm going to get over into the roundtables and see if I can talk about Blueberry a little more. Maybe put the bug in the rear. Any podcasters not on Blueberry, you want to get them on Blueberry. So I'm going to go off to one of these roundtables now. Day two, PodCamp. At the end of the day, here at PodCamp West, day two, and uh, the sponsor room is getting cleared out. Here goes Kiptronic. Here's the S-Pod Radio. Okay, is it Spod Radio or S-Pod Radio? It's Spod. Terry, give our podcasters on Blueberry 30 seconds on what it's about and what it can do for them. Spot Radio is the ultimate way to bring multimedia to your pocket. You can download Spot Radio for free on your phone and use your digital network to watch podcasts, internet radio, and various radio stations. We have over 30,000 channels and more. We did not have a schedule that I didn't know what we were talking about. 
Camp West wrap up. And I can't wait. Like, hey guys, you're coming to Bot Camp. You have volunteered. You want to talk about it. Everybody could not give a session because we will be talking for four days. So can we just put them together? So what can we do? Bind them together in the panels. So you volunteer to talk, and if you found yourself in one of the panels, my apologies. That was the only way we could have convinced. We could have convinced everybody. Otherwise, we would have not podcast speed, not podcast class. So uh, thanks for uh, being with that. And uh, we are going to be doing hot camp class. We just had. Yeah. The closing ceremonies of Hot Camp West, and um, I've been wanting to interview Sally here because Sally is a very interesting participant in podcasting. She doesn't have her own podcast, but I actually thought that she did. She's got a profile on Blueberry, and she's very active in a few other podcasts that I subscribe to. So it's almost like she has her own podcast. So maybe Sally, you can tell us your whole philosophy about that and about Podcast Asylum. A website. Okay, my name is Sally Getch, rhymes with sketch. One of the first things that I learned is that if you are a podcast listener and you send in comments and you want people to read them on their show, you better tell them how to pronounce your name. Your site is podcast. Podcastasylum.com. The Podcast Asylum. If you or someone you love is suffering from a psychological condition related to podcasting and you haven't seen it on our syndrome list on the Podcast Asylum, send it to us and we'll put it up there. <laughs> so, Sally Getch knows something about podcasting. She takes part. Doesn't have her own podcast. An awesome network. And so... She provides a template for how you can use podcasting to digitally network with people. And uh, the benefits are obvious. So head over to Blueberry, find some podcasts, comment on them, send them audio, and everyone's going to love you. Thanks for watching. Camp in the books. San Francisco 49ers fans are out. Hey, it's Sunday. And uh, it's a great day. I was just on the cable car. Ended it like we started, folks. The end of day two of Pod Camp West here in San Francisco, California. I am pooped. And as you could see from this video, a lot going on on day two. There weren't as many people uh, at PodCamp on day two, but there were still a lot of great discussions. I still met a lot of new people, talked to some new companies, some new podcasting networks about uh, working with Blueberry, and uh, overall very exciting, and I think a very, very fruitful trip, no pun intended. And these balls were very, very popular. Uh, I've only got uh, a few of them left. I have a feeling these are going to be um, a collector's item. Maybe even a few of them will end up on eBay, and that's okay because they're promoting uh, the podcast community of choice, Blueberry, and that's what I've been out here doing, and I uh, had a great time doing it. So thanks. Uh, I had a very nice dinner um, with Eric Rice, who you saw on the video as well, and some other people uh, who are really, really into Second Life, so who knows, maybe will be in a Second Life soon. But I'm going to get some sleep, catch a flight real early in the morning, get back to the East Coast, and get back on it for Blueberry. So thanks. And, uh, you know, B-L-U-B-R-R-Y.com. The podcast, the podcamp community of choice? No, the podcast community of choice. This is Rob signing off from PodCamp West in San Francisco, California. Oh.